A new book by a rising young author is blurring the line between novel and movie. Anthony Mason has the fine print. What made you want to start the book here? Well, I thought that Central Park at night was the perfect place to set this novel in motion. Marisha Pessel's new novel, Night Film, begins on the jogging track around New York's Central Park Reservoir, when late at night, an investigative reporter on a run encounters a young woman. What's she wearing? She's wearing a red coat, and it sort of keeps lighting like a flare. And then when he decides to talk to her, she, of course, is gone. Within days, the woman in the red coat is found dead. She's Ashley Cordova, the daughter of reclusive horror film director Stanislas Cordova. Cordova occupies a unique place in the film world. This promotional trailer, which Pessel created, is part of the intricate mythology the author dreamed up around her central character, the elusive director. Many people believe that Cordova the man does not even exist. What is this place? We're at the Gowanus Grain Terminal in Red Hook, Brooklyn. The 35-year-old writer also shot four short films for the internet to help build the mystery around the book. He shows us that no matter who we are, we're all just stumbling around in the dark. I was coming up with the backstory of this mysterious filmmaker named Cordova, right. who's a recluse. No one has seen him in 30 years. He's responsible for some of the most terrifying films ever made. Pessel even had posters made for all of them, including a crack in the window. At night, all birds are black and thumbscrew. So I was very much interested in absence right. and the idea of a man versus his myth. Growing up with her mother and older sister in Asheville, North Carolina, all Pessel ever wanted to be was a writer. Her mother wrote children's stories. She had this old Smith Corona typewriter, and at one point she upgraded and got a new one. Mm -hmm. And so I took over the old one and would sit next to her and write. I think I wrote either G-rated love stories <laughs> <laughs> or I wrote something like very Agatha Christie-esque, like Escape from Death Island. And there would always reach a point where I was like, and then, and I know my mom would be like, dinner, and then that was the end, end of the, the story. Pessel <laughs> <laughs> went to Barnard College in New York. I would come here to do my work and also to write. Mm -hmm. She used a Hungarian pastry shop near campus as her refuge. If you're looking for a character, you just look at the table next to you and they walk into your book. So. <laughs> when she graduated, she was hired by the financial firm Price Waterhouse Coopers. You plot out your novels on Excel spreadsheets? Well, that was my first novel. <laughs> Did the Excel spreadsheet that you used for your first novel come out of your Price Waterhouse Coopers experience? It did. <laughs> it was so my boss could like walk by my cubicle and actually think that I'm working. <laughs> so I had a variety of sort of cloak and dagger ways of pretending that I was actually um, working as a consultant. She was just 27 when that first novel, Special Topics in Calamity Physics, a mystery about the death of an English professor, sold for $615,000. You get a six-figure advance. I know. I don't think that I ever even thought in those terms. Were you in shock when your agent called you with that number? Always in shock. I mean, I'm still in shock. And some publishing industry observers wondered aloud whether Pessel's looks helped her land the rich deal. There was some backlash in the blogs about sort of who is this woman to get this money. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? It was definitely disconcerting. I mean, I think I never thought beyond creating. So of course, when there's a backlash, it's hurtful and um, disquieting. But the reviews were glowing. An immediate bestseller, Special Topics made the New York Times list of the 10 best books of 2006. Now, Night Film is among the most anticipated novels of the summer. And it's more the suggestion and the looming fear rather than an actual like combat. 
Although Marisha Pessel admits when she started to write the 600-page book, she wasn't sure how it would end. Ending a book is a bit like landing a 747 for the first time. You just want to get everything down in one piece, but it was very bumpy and no one died, <laughs> and I did make it to the terminal. But there has to be something that drives you mad a bit about the story. Mm -hmm. So there has to be something that's eating you up inside. What was eating you up in this one? The desire to walk through a dark tunnel and find out what was on the other side. It's a journey Marisha Pessel began in a way, back when she was a girl writing stories in Asheville. You've ended up just where you wanted to be. I have, yeah which is a nice feeling.